Hello there guys, welcome back to footy.com for yet another video. My name is Stephen, this is Phil alongside me, this is your home of football culture. And today we got three things to talk about. Nike have announced the always forward pack with loads of beautiful new colours. Adidas, um, according to Phil, have leaked uh, the Campion 19 team wear pack, is that right? Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, England are good again. Yeah, we're watching this, recording this the day after England battered Spain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's been a very good time to be an Englishman, put it that way. But let's uh, go first into the news about Nike announcing the always forward pack. Uh, and it's a beautiful pack, isn't it, Phil? It is. You know, we always look forward to different colorways coming out in the year. And this one is a big step. You know, it's bold. It's, it's beautiful. very bold. And I think it, the combination, so you've got well, we'll start with the Mercurial and that Volt colorway. And, you know, anytime anything's uh, brought out that's in, in a Volt color... I always think of Barcelona immediately. Exactly. We talked about it the other day, that kind of luminous uh, green color, which is just... It just stands out immediately. It looks... Um, you know, pretty brash, and it's actually quite a nice, nice look for the it's material. Almost historic now as well, given the fact that it's part is. of the, the yeah. 2015 highlight pack uh, a while. But that colour is basically a little bit of a, a Nike nostalgic colour. Yeah, it has, and it's isn't beautiful. It? My personal favourite yeah. though is the Phantom Visions in Ooh, that yeah. racer blue metallic silver colourway. Yeah. Oh, it, that is a colourway that you can be proud of, Nike. Even my girlfriend last night when I was scrolling through Facebook saw that <laughs> she went, "They're really nice, them." So my girlfriend's a fan of those boots. That's how <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that colorway. Yeah, way. possibly the best colorway yet for the Phantom I'm Vision. loving the metallic silver, the, you know, the, the studs in there. They just look absolutely yeah. stunning, don't they, as well? Yeah. And it's kind of carried on through as well into the Hyper Venom and the, the Tiempo. Just more absolute classic designs. Yeah, superb. That shade of blue is, is really electric. It is. It's that kind of um, shimmery sort of look. You know, it's, it's obviously going to look fantastic on the pitch. And I think... It, it works really well for all three of the other boots in blue there. Also, by the way, it'll be released on October the 17th. So if you're a big Nike fan, make sure you're first in line to get in them. They'll be available on 40.com for the cheapest price. So head to our site, check it out. Also, Phil, you know it's about the Adidas Campion wear. Yeah, so I don't often pay too much attention to team wear. You know, I think for, for the most part, I'm, I'm looking at the actual kits of teams. But this one did catch my eye. And this is a leak that, that I saw this week. Of our footy headlines. From footy headlines, our, our friends of footy headlines. And the partic one particular team wear design is essentially the new Germany kit or the old classic. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, so obviously Germany this year, despite their terrible performances on the pitch, their kits were fantastic in the home kit, which hark back to the 1990. Uh, kit, which is probably the most famous football shirt design of all time. Yeah, and rightly so. Rightly so. Iconic. And I love that Adidas are basically milking that a bit more with this teamwork. And I mean, for me, it's just fantastic to see that on the different colours. You know, you've got to be everywhere in pure gym. Going to be everywhere because <laughs> essentially you're getting that great look uh, in a colour of your choice, pretty much. For a much cheaper price, so I'm really excited about these. Charcoal, red, blue, pink, white, dark navy, and green, and all yeah. the Adidas logos with the, the stripe, except yeah. the pink uh, and white jerseys. Yeah. But basically, they are going to be everywhere in your gym in a, in a few months' time. When is meant to be released? So allegedly? most likely uh, early next year. Oh, early next January, year. So you've got yeah, a while to wait for these. Um, yeah, they're and very think, good though, aren't they? I think I think they're fantastic. They, you know, again with team wear, it's the kind of thing where if you're not um, well, if you're not afraid to kind of not wear a, a club shirt, actually, <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is the best of the lot, I'm, I'm sure. And I think, you know, particularly I, I sort of put a quick word on Twitter, and it seems like the pink one had had a bit of traction, really? a bit of love, yeah. And I think it's, it's just a in, in vogue color at the moment, isn't it? It is, yeah. James Morgan would be devastated. <laughs> <He would. laughs> yeah, but these look great, you know, with in combination with the, the new spectral mode. Adidas oh, boots, okay, of course, if, if you have combos. Those. Great kit. In general, great these combos. are a great kit. Worthy of actual England now, not Germany, because England are good again at football. They are very good. Oh, oh it, was, it was very much, you know, this to me was like the 5 1 against Germany all those years ago. That kind of statement game away. It was from exciting, home. wasn't it? It was. The first time Spain had lost in a very long time. I don't have the stats with me, but it was, it was significant. Not This wasn't a bad Spain team. This is a Spain team which. Came, was coming out of the World Cup looking very good and we played them, the them in the way that England can be in general uh, I love yeah. that I'm a Man City yeah. fan so it was like Sterling's redemption I loved was. and it that was. goal was a beautiful finish as well taking his oh, City form into the game it and it's like now if, even if Southgate's legacy 
is just to make people believe in this England team again, then he's done enough in general. Like, given the fact that you've got like Sancho and, and like of Foden and Mason Mount, Madison and Chalaboa and Aki and all these young players who've got so yeah. much potential, yeah. this could be genuinely exciting to be there. An England fan, I don't think we play the best football in the world, but we're effective. And yeah. this signs is more creativity as well. I mean, personally, yes. I thought uh, the team actually looked a little bit better for that um, mm. Barkley, uh, Ali, yeah. Weeks revealed. It was True. more, it was a little bit more creative. I thought it didn't pass the ball sideways anywhere as much you did in the World Cup. Mm. Even though we were good at set pieces then, there was actually a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little bit more spark and we moved the ball past in the field, which tends to suit our really fast forward line. Well, you know what? That's a good point about set pieces. Obviously, all three goals from open play. Yeah. That is really significant because I think that was a big question mark at the World Cup. You know, we were possibly, we were good at that sort of tournament football and getting those set piece goals. But to do all three goals and score them in the way they did, um, was as good as anyone in what the world. What a time to be an England fan. And we should just quickly mention Eric Dyer and obviously his tackle is fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely crunching tackle as a Liverpool fan as well. Just extra sweet on Ramos. But it was just, fan, just that moment. I think he instantly... So unnecessary. I love it. it was so brilliant. unnecessary. He knew exactly what he was doing. Came from a mile off. He showed, he showed great pace actually perfect. to get to it. The first time he's ever shown great pace. Yeah. That's a perfect challenge as far as I can see. It was a um, great challenge. Textbook challenge. Uh, I think they're yeah. good again at football. To me, the UEFA Nations League is better than the World Cup. Just put it out there. <laughs> that is the competition we all want to see. Love but anyway, it. guys, uh, the, the Nike Always Forward package released soon. Uh, you've got the Adidas Campion 19 team worth look forward to next year. And England to look forward to every single international break from this day forth. Uh, anyway, guys, don't forget <laughs> if you need to 40.com, subscribe for all your latest football news. I've been Stephen. This is Phil. See you soon. <laughs>